Welcome back. It's probably the most famous shipbuilding site in the world, yet it's been lying derelict for almost 20 years. Now, a group of locals have set up a charity in the hope of transforming the stretch of wasteland that governs graving docks into a maritime heritage museum. The ambitious plan is one of several proposals on the table to regenerate the site after decades of neglect. Former trade unionist Jamie Webster, who spent 47 years working there, has been telling our reporter Claire McNeil what it would mean to bring the area back to life. An absolute sadness and dis disappointment that this is left derelict for so long and government politicians see it and just turn a blind eye. Once alive with the clanking and roaring of shipbuilding, the River Clyde is now a very different sight. In its heyday during the 19th and 20th centuries, a fifth of the world's ships were built here. But after the Second World War, the industry started to crumble, and this 1964 STV documentary predicted its demise. While the shipyards are still the steelmaker's biggest customers, the question arises as to how long this will remain the case. For in these days of comparative decline in the shipbuilding business, the total amount of shipping built each year is expected to diminish. Jamie Webster worked for 47 years on the yards of the Clyde. My first thought was watching lots of ants all over the place. Busy, noisy, everybody giving out instructions. And it was just such a buzz about the place and the crans were overhead. And of course you saw the, what was getting done, the ships were getting built. It was so impressive, the shipbuilding. As time went on, shipbuilders here couldn't compete with mass production in Asia. Other Glasgow shipyards have vanished without a trace. And since closing in 1988, the Govan Dry docks have been forgotten and left derelict. The workers, the trade unions, the companies and the governments, we all went to sleep. And we woke up, suddenly our industry was falling apart, it seems. It's very depressing and, and in reality an eyesore. Uh, disappointing to see that. The people around about, I'm sure, would like to see it regenerated. Of course, if I shut my eyes for a second and you think of the what they went on here and you see the hurly burly, the men that were employed, and it would be a, a real Glasgow buzz, old shipbuilding days, to see it lying like this now. It's sad, but you would think unnecessary because it's a, a good size of land right in the waterfront. However, hope is on the horizon. A group of locals have set up a charity to bring this once thriving area back to life. The current owners want to build housing here, but the Clyde Docks Preservation Initiative want Govan to be the home of Glasgow's first living maritime museum. We also want to see a nature park, nature reserve area created around the, the wet basin and probably the middle dry dock we would like to see brought back to working order and we'd like to see that used for work on restoring historic ships and maybe even building replica ships. We have the opportunity to create a major maritime heritage centre in the heart of Glasgow where you can see very little trace remaining of the city's maritime and shipbuilding past. I think if it was regenerated in some way, as I say, Govan, which is very historical in history as well, and Glasgow could say, yeah, we finally got the finger out and we did something about that, and come back down and say, hey, is that looking good now? The Clyde, quite simply, has and always will be the most famous shipbuilding uh, place in the world, bar none. Claire McNeil, STV News, Govan.